In this video, we will show you how to change the air chamber volume in your TTX air damper. By changing the air volume, you can make the air spring more or less progressive. This is achieved by adding or removing spacers. The maximum spacer volume differs between models, so consult the manual to see the limit for your shock. The TTX air shock is available as a single or double can shock. This video covers both models. You can use the performance suspension guide at olins.com to calculate your specific spacer volume. You can also consult your dealer. To maintain the high level of performance in your product, it is important to follow the service intervals. At olins.com, you can access manuals and find the specification for your product. Carefully clamp the end eye into a vise. For the TTX Air double can, Note the position of the groove. You will need this for the reassembly later. Release the air from the shock. Make sure that it is empty to avoid damaging the shock or yourself. Carefully apply the tool so as not to damage the shock. Once loosened, you can unscrew it by hand. The TTX Air single can is loosened with a strap tool. Move up the end stop and use a set of long nose pliers to extract any existing spacer. Now insert the spacer you require. The maximum spacer volume for your shock can be found in the manual. You can add or remove spacers between the cans on the double can model. Press the shock back together and start to tighten it by hand. On the double can model, move the groove to the position noted at the start of this process and press down. Tighten to the correct torque. Pump the shock to your preferred air pressure. Now you're done in the workshop, it's time to go riding.